Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about my Toontown predictions and hopes for 2022 within Toontown Rewritten. So I hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We're really close to 200 subscribers and it would make me really happy. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. Obviously Field Offices just came out towards the end of 2021, so I'm excited to see where they're going to go from here. Obviously it brought a whole new task line, new laugh limit, and obviously the Field Offices themselves. The laugh limit got increased to 139 laugh but it's still going to be increased to 140 which they have confirmed but in which way that's going to happen I'm not sure. Is there going to be more new tasks that they're going to introduce at some point just to continue the content from that update or is there going to be a different way of getting 140 laugh? That's something that should be happening this year but we just don't know in what way or when this is going to happen yet. The TTR team themselves have confirmed that there will still be updates in 2022 but there won't be any massive updates as they'll need time to develop the next big thing. So so there is likely to still be smaller updates from TTR throughout the year hopefully but just nothing super big. With the time that it took for them to do field offices I'm sure it's going to take a while for them to do the next whatever the next big thing is. I've got a few things I would like to see from Toontown rewritten this year. Obviously the 140 laugh thing is something that should happen this year um, but everything else is kind of what I would like to happen but not all of this is obviously going to. So firstly I would like to see some more new trolley games. TTR did an update in April 2021 I believe where two new trolley games were introduced Introduced, Spotlight Search and Doodle Roundup and I think that was a really good update to be honest. New trolley games are always going to be exciting for me anyway just because you, we've played the same ones over and over again and so it was nice to have something new and fresh in terms of trolley games so I would not be opposed to them adding maybe another two new trolley games. I'm not sure what they would be but that's something I would definitely like to see. Also being someone that missed out on Storm Silver and Crash Cash Bolt in Toontown Rewritten when I was on a break I would like to see the next thing. I would like to see the next installment of that. So Storm Sailbot, Crash Cashbot, Lawbot, something or other, uh, and Bossbot. I would like to see a Lawbot version of Storm Sailbot, Crash Cashbot. I don't know if that's something that's considered a big update, so that might not be this year, but I definitely want something like a big kind of event like that. So we'll see, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that one. Something I really liked that they added in 2021 was the new house and estate features. So they have a few new house options now that rotate throughout the year, like instead of just the normal basic tune house you can get a few different variations now which I think is really cool and I also really love the time of day in the estate that they added so you can have it set to a few different cycles and it makes the estate look so pretty and so any other kind of estate customization or more house options or even new furniture new furniture new clothing like anything like that I think would be really really welcomed and for me <laughs> I would love something like that more customization more personalization to your estate to your tune anything like that obviously something that's been talked about quite a bit is field offices for other cog types so they've done the sailboard field offices and they are really really challenging and I think that that's something Toontown needs more of and so cashbot, lawbot, bossbot, field offices maybe at some point I don't think this year considering how long it took to do the sailboard ones but now they've kind of got the structure of them and kind of how they work hopefully it would take somewhat less time to be able to develop ones for the other cog types. So we'll see about that. Something I really would like them to change is kind of the grindiness and I know that's a thing that a lot of TTR people say, a lot of TTR players say that it gets very grindy and I don't think I'm ever gonna max boss bot because of how grindy it is and how many back nines you need and that's just like boss bot is my least favorite and so I'm like I'm never gonna max boss bot because of how many back nines you need and how many like options you need. I haven't maxed law bot, I haven't maxed boss bot. They are just so so grindy and some people might love that but Personally, for me, having played Corporate Clash um, and seeing the difference with the grindiness of leveling up within bosses, I think that's something that could be changed potentially, but I don't know if it actually will be. Okay, good summarize for Toontown Rewritten. 140 laugh limit should hopefully happen. I would like to see some new trolley games happening. Something similar to Storm Sailbot, Crash Cash Bot, the Law Bot or Boss Bot versions of those. More small updates throughout the year and no big massive updates. More house and estate customization options would be really nice. Field offices for the other. Uh, cog types and more kind of challenging things similar as field offices and potentially fixing the grindiness of Toontown Rewritten. That's kind of what I'm expecting or what I would like to see within this next coming year. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see in Toontown Rewritten this year, what you would like to be added or what you're expecting them to add. I would like to see what you think. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!